Welcome, Ben Affleck. Thank you. Starring in Daredevil as a blind superhero. Blind, yeah, superhero. He's blinded as a child and therefore develops extraordinary physical abilities. Right, the way he's blinded is with this kind of radioactive biohazard waste stuff that exaggerates all of his other senses to such a degree where he's able to kind of see through using sound. It's almost like sonar. Hey, how you doing? In terms of superhero ranking, where is this guy? He's not like the intergalactic guy. He doesn't do like, he doesn't have supernatural right, powers. Right. You call him for your, for your, your chain snatchings. You like, set him up your with your daughter. Lords, you know what I mean? Yeah, right. Which makes it kind of interesting because he's not just kind of uh, the man of steel where nothing really can hurt him. He's like a, a normal guy who overcomes all this stuff to be a kind of superhero. But you have to wear those contacts through the whole movie. Could yeah. you actually see out of them? No, I could. But that was kind of good because that way I just instinctively won't kind of use my eyes. How are you hitting your marks, though? I would miss them sometimes. I mean, you know, <laughs> using. I mean, I worked with this guy named Tom Sullivan, who's a, a blind guy. He showed me a lot of tricks and ways in which blind people navigate rooms, can familiarize themselves with spaces, use their hands, the way they use a cane, the way you read Braille, all that stuff. But sometimes I just would sort of slam into, you know, lights and stuff, and we just have to go again. Whoops, though, you are in Jennifer Garner's lap. There, yeah. Uh, Whoops, sorry. I'm gonna... That okay. fight scene with her that you guys have, would she kick your butt in real life? Oh, it certainly looks like it, doesn't it? I didn't kill your father. Liar! <laughs> but she has this quality about her that's very charming and endearing and I think it's what makes you watch her and I think men like her because she's beautiful but non-threatening. She's not the kind of woman that alienates other women somehow. At the end when the credits roll there are about 250 stunt people listed. How many belong to you? <laughs> there, there was just, I mean you gotta think about like the bar sequence in the beginning. There are at least 75 guys in there that got beat up. Did you learn I learned some tricks. I learned some moves. I've learned how to like if if, if like one. a group of people do the exact sequence thing that they did in the movie, then I would know what to do. And in terms of the costume, did you have any hesitations? Yeah, I mean, I think you know. It's not how we're used to seeing you necessarily. No, it's not how we're used to seeing anybody, leather. right? That's where something like Spider-Man really helped us because it sort of helped expose the audience and acclimate them to a universe where people do wear brightly colored costumes, and that's not completely outrageous. <laughs> or you know at least I mean? that's what you told yourself. Every that's what morning. I kept telling myself. <laughs> the movie definitely ends with sequel possibilities, of course. I suppose the idea is to leave it open to that in the event that the movie works. Would you resuit up? Uh, yeah, it would have to be something really kind of cool and exciting and a story that was really good. Yeah. Thank you, Ben Affleck. Thank you, dear. Starring in Daredevil. Thank you very much. It's a pleasure. I like this. I like your set. I like the crazy shards of glass all around. <laughs> it's kind of cool.